Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you all with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. So why don't you grab a snack and a drink? Hit that subscribe button, best friend, because we got to talk. So listen the end of the concert era so there are some new articles going around best friend talking about how a lot of major singers can't really tour like they once used to and that really just brought out so much nostalgia for me so i thought it would be really cool to read the tea and then to talk about concerts in general and what they do for you and memories and stuff so let's get on to it best friend so the article goes as follows so best friend first of all bad bunny bad bunny do yourself a favor and google bad bunny concert mm. <laughs> Let's put it this way, bitch. You don't need to be zooming into nothing, okay? Because it's right there, bitch, okay? But that's just bad bunny. But listen, um, why are huge stars failing to sell and have having to cancel some, you know, tour dates? Now, if you see Justin Timberlake, Bad Bunny, Jennifer Lopez, um, let's take those three artists, right? Uh, bad Bunny is the most relevant of both of them. And even Bad Bunny had some, you know, issues selling. Now, I think that a lot of people, they think that they have Taylor Swift power. So they see what Taylor Swift and what Beyonce sells, what Adele sells, you know, what, um, I don't know, best friend, like who else has toured Harry Styles. All of these people have had major success in touring. So I think a lot of people think, well, we can do the same thing. The issue here, girl, is their egos, okay? Their egos get in their way of success. That is why they flop so much because of their egos. Because instead of saying, you know what? I'd rather perform in, in an arena because I know I cannot fill out a stadium. Let me just do an arena tour. But because their egos are so massive, they're like, well, I can do it too. Like if Taylor Swift is doing it, I, I, I can do it too. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're, it's one thing to be an overachiever and then there's just another thing of being delusional. You know, stop being delulu like J-Lo, right? That gets me to the second subject. Um, I think that Bad Bunny being the most relevant of them, these artists that are trying to do arena tours, you know, like for example, back in the day, Camila Cabello had to cancel her arena tour because allegedly it just was not selling. Then if you go all the way back to like the 2000s, Justin and Christina did a collab tour together because solo, they probably wouldn't have been able to fill these type of arenas. Do you know what I mean? Um, that's why a lot of people go to Vegas because it's easier for them to fill out those, you know, um, auditoriums than it is Madison Square Garden. You know what I mean? But I think that prices for concert just have gone up so much like i told you guys i went to the madonna concert and you know i really don't know how much it was because it was a gift and i was so grateful to go but i was reading online that the tickets were skyrocket but it's madonna right people were complaining about taylor's tickets people were complaining about beyonce's tickets but yet they went because they are massive stars but then you have someone like Jennifer Lopez who hasn't toured in a hot minute, hasn't had a hit in a hot minute, and is really not like right now putting the same prices at like Madonna. Then you're probably wondering like, girl, what in the la 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 is going on here? Nobody was waiting for tonight, honey. Okay, that's all I got to say about that. So I just have to say like tickets, merch, gas, water. It all adds up. Like when we went to the Madonna concert, parking, okay, parking, the tickets were free, thank God. But parking was $40. Water, it was $14 each, a bottle, like a bottle of water, $14. So let's say 30 plus parking 40, 50, 60, 70, right? And if you wanna buy yourself a little something, something, that's probably like $50 too. 
That's not including the damn tickets, folks, friend, or the, the gas money. You know what I mean? So concerts nowadays are just so expensive that in the economy that we are living in, we don't really have that type of money to go to these concerts. So artists have to get off their fucking high horse, stop being so egocentric, and understand that their reality is not the same reality that we are living in, bitch, okay? That's the issues with concerts. And that's why a lot of artists have to cancel concerts and even cancel cancel and scrap a whole tour like JLo. Justin still went on tour. Bad Bunny obviously still went on tour and they're doing pretty good. JLo just could not do it. But JLo's prices did not compare to anyone else's prices. So that's the issue there. So I just feel like at the end of the day, artists have to be a little bit more considerate in how they, you know, how they like express, like for example, there's some celebrities, right? They only post on their social media to promote a fucking product. Like, I, I feel like celebrities nowadays, they are really living in like Care Bear heaven. They're living in like the Winnie the Pooh village. Like, they're just not here. And that's why, for example, that's why the Kardashians, they're in their flop era because they're not, they're, they don't get it. Like, they're like, hey, my new lip, my new lip gloss is $45. Okay, bitch, and how much is electricity? Okay, bitch, and how much is gas? Okay, bitch, you know what I mean? So, I just feel like for a celebrity who isn't Taylor Swift or who isn't Beyonce, who isn't a powerhouse, they have to kind of come down and say, all right, how many singles have I sold the past five years? How many Spotify listeners do I have? And what cities, right? How much are people, were, you know, willing to pay for me, you know, realistically? Fire all your team who are just saying yes, 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 yes. And get real people to say, bitch, you have not had a hit in a hot minute. Justin Timberlake's latest album didn't do shit. JLo's didn't do shit. If your album is not selling, that means people are not interested in what you are selling. Therefore, they're not interested in watching you in concert, period, okay? That girl, you know, it's not the same for Taylor Swift. It's not the same for Madonna. It's not the same for Harry Styles. Harry Styles is the biggest thing right now, but Taylor Swift is as well. You know, all of these artists who are massive, you see their record sales. You see the, the, the you know, the... Uh, um, the what is it called not the want but the the need no the the uh, i guess the social media attention of it all you see how much people want you know to see you but girl you gotta do the math because if two plus two is four and five plus five is ten what the fuck is this this is me no you know what i mean so anyways girl what do we think let me know in the comments below my first concert was britney spears I was super, super little. I went with my mom and we were like in the nosebleed section, but I remember that day like there was no tomorrow. Um, I could not see well. I didn't wear glasses back in the day, but I couldn't see the stage so she gave me her glasses. Um, and, and I feel bad now because of course now she couldn't see, but um, it was a Britney Spears concert and it was so magical and I will forever remember that day. Um, and that was my first concert, best friend. It was Britney. And I've uh, in concert, I have seen uh, Britney about eight times. I have seen Shakira. I've seen Madonna, Katy Perry, Janet Jackson. And I've actually seen Jennifer Lopez in her Las Vegas residency. I went, I went with my best friend. And that's it. I think that's all the concerts I've been to, best friend. So who was your first concert? Let me know in the comments below. I love you all so much. I'm so grateful. And it is important to go to a concert. So that's why I wish celebrities would come down their treehouse mansions and really like, you know, understand the situation and the circumference uh, and the reality of the people okay anyways girl i wish you the most fabulous week ahead i love you all so much and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah.